I feel honoured. I really appreciate that uh, AKU has recognised my work and I'm very happy about it. So my interest has been in infectious diseases research and also diagnostics. So at the laboratory for molecular pathology, our interest has been in developing new rapid diagnostics for infectious diseases pathogens, including viruses. And my research work, which has been focusing primarily on tuberculosis, was um, focusing on looking to develop whole genome sequencing as a tool to identify changes in the genome which allow mutations and allow us to predict resistance. And what happened is that uh, when COVID-19 started and there was a need, an immediate need to identify the virus, we applied our skill set at the clinical laboratory and we were able to develop our test, our in-house test, before commercial assays were available. And we were able to diagnose SARS-CoV-2 through a PCR-based test as early as February 2020. And then subsequently we worked with um, the laboratory and the Department of Health to scale up testing and to expand the services that we provide today. With regard to the genome sequencing work, we were able to adapt our pathogen sequencing platform, which was for bacterial species, we were able to apply it to viral sequencing. And, you know, this work was supported by research grants that were in place, and uh, we, because of that, we were able to produce the first viral sequencing in-house in Pakistan quite early on in 2020. And this was important because at that time, we didn't know much about circulating strains, especially in Pakistan. Access to reagents was very difficult. And we were able to show how the virus changed from the original Wuhan strain in March to the G-clade later on in the year. And then we were able to expand that work, working with the health department and WHO Islamabad and NIH, and show the introduction of new variants that we now know as Alpha and then Beta, Gamma, Delta, and now Omicron. This work highlights the need to invest in scientific research infrastructure and the importance of whole genome sequencing for identification of new and emerging viruses, for tools as prediction of drug resistance. We see that with regard to pathogens. Um, the same tools are also applicable in precision medicine, you know, identification for clinical genetics. So there is a big scope for development of sequencing, facilities, uh, bioinformatics at AKU and uh, the, the next uh, the NGS core lab at the Juma building uh, is aimed to do that and we're already starting to um, set up opportunities for people who want to do sequencing there. So our, our core lab and its team has been very important and supported by our research sequencing team and together uh, we've been able to make advances and we hope that this will expand the work that can be done on campus.